Egg retrieval procedure is very important step in IVF. Once the female has received all the injections to form the follicles and form multiple eggs inside her body, after the final injection that is given which is called a trigger injection, 35 hours after that the eggs are taken out of the female body by the procedure called egg retrieval. This procedure is carried out under anesthesia so the female is advised to come fasting in the morning to the IVF center wherein under anesthesia the ultrasound machine, the ultrasound probe that is mounted by a needle is inserted vaginally and this needle is used to aspirate all the follicles that have been so formed by means of hormonal injections. You can also see in the video where we are doing this procedure of egg retrieval at our setup. Herein, as the needle is piercing each follicle, the fluid inside the follicle is being aspirated into a tube. This fluid contains the egg. This tube is transferred to the lab that is situated just next door, connected to the operation theatre by means of a window. This tube is transferred to the embryologist. He would scan the fluid for the egg would aspirate the eggs from the fluid, keep them aside in a dish for them to be fused with the husband's sample which is the sperm. This egg retrieval procedure takes usually around 5 to 10 minutes depending upon how many eggs were formed or how many follicles were seen in an ultrasound and post procedure the patient would regain her consciousness immediately. She would be advised to take rest in the IVF center for few hours, 3 to 4 hours she is allowed orally after 3 to 4 hours. Once she feels comfortable, then she is discharged home with a set of prescribed medications that she needs to take before the embryo transfer procedure is carried out. The patient can experience mild amount of pain in the lower abdomen or she can have some amount of spotting. Both of them are harmless and do not cause any impact on the results of